from the file menu you can head over to document settings when you get to document settings as we explained in the previous lecture you can first of all start with layout so layout is going to help you adjust how your your work area is going to look like so you can choose poster and you can also change um, the display from point to whatever that you need at this point is, is at this moment is at point so you can choose poster you can choose pages you can change the document size or you can even add the number of pages you can also adjust the margins it doesn't move into the margins so yeah that is quite important and you can also do the page setup from this point this helps you to see whatever change that you make it helps you to to see how it's going to affect you and your print that's if you're printing you can also have headers and footers so you can add a header you can add a text let's say let's call it lol and hit ok so you have a header attached to it that can be edited as well so from the header you can also have a folder and, and all that this is the main thing this is where you can change the bond the drawing so you can start with bond you can change the length you can change the width the margins and all so once these things are changed it makes it customized this is why cam draw is important because if you are just using draw or paint or something to do you won't be able to have accuracy and you'll be able to have that flexibility and easy ease of drawing right so it makes it very accurate and as we said before some of these journals want exact or specific length and width and specific parameters and chemdraw gives you that ability to have fixed ones right you can also edit your text so you can let's go back to drawing so there's also angles you have 120 you can change it as as you need as well yeah you have 120 from the text you can also have these as your normal text um, you can also do them here but you can set it so that everything that you do changes then atom labels so when you're labeling atoms it should also be there for you and properties labeling so everything is quiet in here and colors so you can have let's say background color at this point is white let's change it to let's say let's go to other you can change it to whatever that you need it to be and hit ok and changes the background color for you document settings you can just play around with this as well so that that is something that can can be done and it's it's interesting so you can also change this from black to let's say red something very useful to do if if you are maybe editing everything in bulk and you can also have custom colors as well so that is basically it for the interface and we'll be delving into the basic drawing in the next section so see you